In this video, I'll share some thoughts about integrating and some of the difficulties associated with integrating. So, first of all, if we compare it to differentiating, for differentiating, we've got a bunch of rules in differential calculus. We got the product rule, the quotient rule, the chain rule, and basically with this collection of rules, we're able to take the derivative of any function we could write down. So basically any elementary combination of polynomials, trig functions, logs, exponentials, if you can write it down, we could follow the recipe of differential rules and find its derivative. In fact, it's just a matter of following that recipe. Turns out it's relatively easy to program a computer to do symbolic differentiation. When we're doing integration, however, the story is quite different. It's very easy to write an integral that is absolutely impossible to evaluate with elementary means. For example, the integral I've written here, the integral of sine x squared dx, it is absolutely impossible to evaluate this integral with ordinary means. Now, we'll be talking, not in the next chapter, but in the following chapter, about more integration tricks we can use and that will expand the number of integrals we're able to do but even then we will not be able to do an integral like this and so integration turns out it's a much much harder task than differentiation at a whole other level one way to think about the difference is the following differentiation and integration in addition to being complementary mathematical processes are also complementary brain processes, complementary ways of looking at the world. Differentiation is when you're telling things apart, when you're saying this is different from that, is different from that, is different from that. And this very much has to do with the left brain, the left cerebral hemisphere. And the left cerebral hemisphere is, is very much associated with logic. This is the part of the brain that does algebra. Algebra is all about the left brain. This is about clear rules, anything about grammar and syntax, all that very logical, cut and dry, clear stuff happens in the left brain. Well, integration, that's a very different process. Integration, seeing the connection between a bunch of different elements, that is something that is inherently a right brain process. And the right brain process is about images. Right brain process is where we dream, where we process poetry. Right brain does pattern matching. And in fact, the human brain is the best pattern matching machine in the entire world. No computer can come close to matching the human brain in terms of sheer pattern matching. And that would be things like voice recognition, facial recognition, et cetera, et cetera. Turns out that even when we're doing calculus, when we're doing differentiation, following those recipe rules, which are very clear cut, we're using our left brain. Integration, we start to have to look for patterns. That is to say, we start to have to use our right brain. And so that's part of what is difficult about the switch from differ differential calculus to integral calculus, that we have to actually cross over to the other hemisphere of our brain and start thinking in terms of pattern matching, thinking in terms of right brain skills, in addition to the left brain skills that we're very used to using in math. And so that's a little perspective on the challenge of integrating.